This video clip covers lesson practice number one from set one from this section of the notes. And let's read the instructions. Use option two, option three, and option four from the probability menu to evaluate each expression. So this first problem, we have five in this explanation point, means five factorial. And so I'm going to go to the calculator. I need to enter five in first, go to hit the math button, go to my probability menu. And then you'll see that choice four, or option four, is the factorial symbol. So I'm going to use four. So I have the five factorial there, hit enter, and that's 120. So let's write that down. Five factorial is 120. Um, the next problem we have is 10 P4. Now P stands for permutation. So let's go back to our calculator. And I have to enter the 10 in first to do this. 10, hit math, go to probability, and you'll see the permutation function is choice 2. And then enter the 4, hit enter. And so 10p4 is equal to 5040. Let's write that down. And then the last one, we have the combination. So I need to enter the 7 in first, hit math, arrow over to the probability menu. That's choice 3 for the combination function. And enter 5, press enter, and we hit 21. So let's write that down. So go ahead, finish lesson practice number 1, and then go on to lesson practice number 2. And don't be afraid of these. Just enter them in as you see them. I just have other, other permutations added to, um, you know, the first one. And here's a mixture. And just make sure you type it in like you see it. 